Welcome to another episode of Focus On. I'm Zanella Morrison, and we are coming to you from Lusaka in Zambia. I have the honor of our next guest, His Excellency, Dr. Jean Kaseya. He's the Director General of the Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and that's Africa CDC. His Excellency, Dr. Jean Kaseya, thank you so much for your time. Um, as part of, or as the Director General yeah. for the Center for Disease Control and yeah. Prevention in the continent, yeah. there are a number of principles that are guiding yeah. the work that you are doing. How relevant are those principles today, and what is the impact that you see already based on these principles? In Africa CDC, we learned from COVID-19. COVID-19, has to teach us that we need the new public health order. It's the game changer, the blueprint, the new vision for Africa, how to support our member states to be better prepared and to respond to outbreaks and to operationalize the new public health order. We have what we call the five C's. And this is the concept I saw young people talking about five C's. Now everyone wants to talk about five C's. What it means, five C's. The first one is we are talking about the climate change. We know that from studies from uh, African Development Bank, around five to 15 percent are lost every year in our GDP in Africa due to the climate change. And we said we need to have an approach that will help us to overcome this challenge with one health approach. The second one is community. We need to build resilient communities to overcome the challenge of outbreaks that we have. The third one is uh, connectivity. Why we are talking about connectivity? Because we need to have all health centers in Africa, all hospitals connected and countries being connected. We are also talking about capacity. This is the fourth one. Capacity means we want to have skilled health workforce, we need to have appropriate medical countermeasures like vaccines and others to support our response. And the last one is collaboration. You know, we have strong collaboration, like with MasterCard Foundation. Mm -hmm. we, are, we built a, a nice program that supported African countries with $1.5 billion to support the response and to build capacity of our, uh, our countries. But we have also extended partnerships with other uh, stakeholders. And these are the five C's we are talking to as the game changer in Africa. Mm. And, and looking at, and I like the fact that you started with COVID taught us lessons. Uh, because pandemics are not, uh, we're not new to us and they continue. We've had a few, we've had malaria in South Africa, we've had Myberg, we've had monkeypox. You know, are we showing better responsiveness when it comes to these outbreaks in the various, uh, con in the various countries? Dealing with outbreaks, monitoring outbreaks is our job on a daily basis. This is what Africa CDC is doing. And Africa CDC is doing that by ranking all outbreaks that we have. We have high, medium, and low. Depending on situation in each country, depending on the magnitude of outbreaks, we are deploying rapid responders, we are providing testing, we are providing supplies, you know, and I will also give you a concrete example, like for cholera affecting 18 countries currently in Africa. We have a program that is supporting countries, we call it Colgen, supporting countries to understand the genomic uh, sequencing of that cholera to, and to know what is the strain from Western, Central, Eastern, and Southern Africa. This is what Africa CDC is doing, in addition to a strong coordination mechanism. You saw during the Marburg, we have to organize a meeting of ministers of health in Central Africa to come together and to discuss how to better respond to outbreaks. And, and what about the efficiencies to do these initiatives? Are you using digital technology? And how is digital enhancing the overall efficiency of uh, the healthcare rollouts across the continent? Digital agenda is the connectivity we are talking about when we talk about 5Cs. This is a major priority for us. Having all health centers in Africa connected, let me tell you something. You know, sometimes we have a network starting in a country, ending without national authorities knowing that. Sometimes we have a network starting from one country, 
flying to another one without transit countries knowing that. And this is a challenge for us in Africa. And the better way to overcome this challenge is to have a strong digital program. This is why we are implementing a program to connect 100,000 health centers and to connect 2 million community health workers for them to send timely data to us. Mm. And, and there has to be a link to the, the, the overall efficiency and the benefit of it. We speak to uh, up to about 50% gains just by the year 2030 by utilizing uh, digital health tools. So, so uh, overall, how is CDC assisting the growth, uh, the accessibility, the ease, especially even the cost of healthcare for, for citizens? Digital agenda is the game changer. We have young people with a lot of innovation. We have the private sector, and this is an area where the private sector can invest because we are talking about billions of dollars of business in Africa using the digital platform. Africa CDC is building the environment, is creating the conducive environment for business, but also for health security. By bringing both private and public sectors, we are really making a major change in the way we are dealing with our health security. And what about financing? Financing of infrastructure, financing and the localization of some of the healthcare products that we need in order for them to be more affordable. Have we seen growth, especially also after COVID showed us, we need to do it locally? You know, uh, I have to say local manufacturing is the second independence of Africa. Why you are talking about second independence of Africa? It's because we are bringing back to Africa $15 billion per year of vaccines, medicines, and other, uh, therapy, uh, other uh, diagnostics. We saw in Africa we have only 1% of vaccines used in Africa coming from Africa. We cannot continue like that. Mm -hmm. And by building the local manufacturing agenda, not only business, but we are also ensuring our health security. But let me tell you, we are also ensuring peace and security because this is a linkage, a strong linkage between two countries, even if they are fighting. And we say Africa CDC is the game changer of Africa because of the global F diplomacy that we are bringing using a number of platforms like local manufacturing. So, and we stick into collaboration a little bit. Are you, are you then playing in the, in the policy space and also looking at the uh, broader policies like uh, the AFCTFA and, and how they are enabling uh, free trade and ease of movement? Do we see healthcare also making strides in, in, in the free trade agreement areas? We are working together with all AU organs, AFCFTA, NEPAD, and also the commission, the mm -hmm. AU commission, because Africa CDC cannot achieve everything not by collaborating with others. We need to work together. And what we are doing with FCFTA is to create the market in Africa. Because Africa CDC is bringing product, FCFTA is bringing the in market intelligence, and we are working together. This is why we say Africa is winning, because all AU organs are working together to make sure that we are ensuring our health security and our economic growth. Mm. And what about the World Health Organization? What's your partnership like with them as, you, as they expand and work across the continent providing health services? One of the five pillars of a new public health order is partnership, strong partnership with our all partners that we have. I already talked about MasterCard Foundation because this is really the game changer on how we are approaching the public health sector in Africa. But specifically with WHO, we have strong relationship, and let me share with you. During this conference, we will celebrate Dr. Tedros as hero, African hero. The collaboration that we have with WHO is helping us to build the agenda of pandemic preparedness and response in Africa. In instance, we developed together what we call the Joint Emergency Action Plan with WHO AFRO, WHO EMRO, to better support the 55 countries in Africa to respond to outbreak. Mm. We have a wonderful relationship with WHO, and I want to thank them 
for the collaboration that we have. Mm. I want to close off with the New Deal. What is this transformative New Deal that's guiding Africa CDC, uh, and what does it mean for the organization? New Deal is a transformative agenda that is helping us to better implement the new public health order to ensure that our countries are well prepared and to ensure that when we are coming together with the agenda of pandemic preparedness and response, we are very well aligned. Mm -hmm. This is the best way to define the New Deal on the way to support the new public health order. Mm. You and I spoke earlier on also about how important this is for our economy. You know, healthcare is seen sometimes separate from yeah. the money part of an economy, from our GDP, but we don't realize increased healthcare means increased GDP. How do we link it effectively for people to understand? You know, when I have to talk with head of state and means of finance, I say, look, healthcare is not a liability. Now, health is an asset. You can imagine by implementing the local manufacturing agenda with production of medicines, vaccines, diagnostics, even gloves, we don't have it in Africa. We are creating a big market. This big market is contributing to the growth, economic growth of our countries and job creation. Mm -hmm. This is why African countries today, they start to understand that investing in health is a huge return on investment because when you are investing one dollar, like in South Africa with this president, Ramaphosa and the means of finance, you invest one dollar on local manufacturing, you have six dollars in terms of return on investment. This is the message that we are giving to everyone. Public, private sector, please, with Africa CDC, let us invest together mm -hmm. to the public health sector in Africa. It will be the game changer. 1.4 billion people, this is the biggest market in the next 20 years. Africa will be the first continent in terms of the market. Mm. So, so your vision, I mean, walking away, what do you want us to, to take away and understand about the work of the CDC and how critical it is? We have to say the question is not about if we'll have another pandemic. The question is when we'll have another pandemic. This is what is positioning Africa CDC as the unique and the powerful organization that can bring all countries together to be well prepared for the next pandemic. This is the mandate, the political mandate that head of state they gave to Africa CDC. Today, look this conference, we have 30,000 people, 5,000 attending physically, 25,000 attending virtually. All of them, they want to see what Africa CDC is doing to help countries to be well prepared. Mm. Africa CDC is hosting the world in Africa to discuss the public health sector. And that's it for this episode of Focus On. That was my guest, His Excellency, Dr. Jean Kaseya. It's a new deal based on the five principles and collaboration leads. And so does technology. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll catch you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.